Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a scrub. Kyle found the door. I found the door, like immediately. Except it doesn't open from this what side. What the ball? <laughs> so how do? Round, round, get around. On the last episode of Smash Co, Kyle went down. And he's still going to keep going down into the deeper, dank darkness of the Irith of Dandy. Kyle has no idea where to go. Kyle is yet to try every single room on that side. <laughs> you killed things, but you didn't see where from whence they came from. That's, that's not me. <laughs> okay, here. Oh. Mm -hmm. That is super <laughs> creepy. <laughs> Oh god, you were the second person who hasn't noticed that until they were like right up on it. What? Is it dangerous? It hasn't attacked you yet. And you were right up in his grill. Yet. <laughs> yet. I don't know, he looks friendly to me. He isn't. I mean, I can't target him, so. Mm hmm. Usually there's notes by him that say, like, perhaps friend? <laughs> and. I would ask you guys in the audience if perhaps you'd want me to tell Kyle more about any, like, secrets. But, frankly, I figure if you're watching this, you already know a decent bit about the game. And... I don't know. I just want Kyle to kind of experience this on his own at first. Oh, come on. That's BS! Oh, you just got branded. Hey, it looks like a peace sign. Now I know. Thank you, Kyle. You answered my question from last episode. <laughs> mm, no. No. Yeah. <laughs> no lag. Yeah. You did it, Kyle. I went it's so too far. Late. I, I tried so hard and got so far. Shut but up when I'm talking to you! But in the end, <laughs> doesn't even matter. I still want to record the Lincoln Park exception. Or the Lincoln incident. Incident Lincoln, Lincoln Park? Park. Mm hmm. Kyle, we've got skits we have to record, but we need a good camera to do it. We've been saying this for months. Yeah. Also been saying how much we need to, like, get proper, uh, we need to get our, um, overlay and channel art done. But right now, wait, I'm wait, I'm waiting right now for, on a tactical line, um, sponsor, whatever, <laughs> to see, uh, what the designs look like, to see if... We'll be getting it for our YouTube channel as well. I have a feeling we will. Like, the design we currently have that I threw together last minute isn't, like, super important. Or it's not, like, it's just... Wow. We're, we're just really going to have a hammer in space, more or less. <laughs> a space is what our channel art was going to be. Wow, my health is super tiny right now. It's coming back up. It's just your wiener shriveled, that's all, Kyle. <laughs> this area makes your wiener shrivel. I mean, it would make you suffer from opinion. shrinkage. <sighs> and it can't be helped. Sometimes shrinkage happens, Kyle, and you just gotta accept it. Do I have to go down there? No, I have to go across mm. the bridge. Crossed. Crossed the bridge. I bet you there's some stuff you could skip, possibly, but... We go take this guy out. He's, he's all mad because you're breaking his pottery, and you don't. No, 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 no! She's when she hits you, you stagger for a long time. Mm -hmm. Got cattle prodded. Like that doesn't make any sense. I'm normally not that long when I get staggered. She's like, and time for the meat. Ah! Stupid. Get branded, baby. It's dumb. You're the bitch now. <laughs> you wake up and you're like in a gimp suit. <laughs> like ball gagging your mouth. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Where is your mind today, man? I don't know. In a dungeon, apparently. Yeah. 
It's not the kind of dungeon where you want to be. Really, do you ever want to be in any kind of dungeon? Let's be honest. I feel like a sex dungeon. You should roll. I tried. Yeah. Well, you tried, and you were successful, so good job. <laughs> the phantom scared me. Did it scare you? Yes. <laughs> oh. You're doing it, Kyle. You're doing it. Reddit would be so proud of you. Very poorly, but I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm gonna let my health bar come back to the normal size. Is that the normal size? Yes. Okay. Before I use it, you can... There you go, buddy. I don't like these guys. <laughs> they don't like you. They don't like you either. Whoop. Nice job. Why does he stand back up? Roll, dude. Roll. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, guys. Sweet party you're having. Oh, you just, dude. Someone's having a little too much to drink at this party. You did it, Kyle. You saved the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Speaking of frat broness, um, I had a really bro moment with one of my coworkers this weekend, also at Pizza Hut. That's super creepy. <laughs> He's just hanging out. I don't like him looking at him. It just creeps me out. Oh, uh, go behind you real quick, and unlock that. There you go. You see, now the door's open, and so you don't have to go through those other guys now. Um, and you don't have to go through these guys either. You could just jump down from outside and not worry about them. Or just run? Yeah, I, I suggest running now. He's Whoa! angry. Why is he so angry? I don't know. He's not as friendly as the other guy, and he's blocking your way. He's all right. Why do I have the fatty roll? Might be too heavy by something. Doesn't make any sense. I mean, it makes sense if something is making you heavy. But like, I didn't, I didn't add anything to my my. That you know of. What if they take away stamina or stuff as well? They don't just take away health, do they? They reduce your stats, like all of your stats. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. The easiest thing to do is to check your stats as soon as you respawn, like right now. Yeah, no fatty roll. Yep. So what did you mean I could just I just run through them? Is that what you meant? Well, kill these guys because they're yeah I know that. You stop. <laughs> you stop. But you can't don't you can't stop the beat, Kyle. Or the motion of the ocean or the rhythm above. Truthfully, you can ignore every single one of these little guys. Save yourself that happening and getting cornered by this a hole. You are just spamming that in R1. <laughs> Basically, what I had to do right there. You could have rolled out of there and regained all your stamina. So you could have like, swung a lot faster. She's blocking the way. I can't. I couldn't get through the gate when she's blocking the way like that. You doubt yourself. Yes, I doubt my capabilities in this game. Believe in your nipple hat, Kyle. You don't have to go that way now. Remember, you opened the door. What I was talking about before, you can literally just walk off the edge here. Right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But there's stuff there. Yeah, there is. Stab him. Oh. Stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the crystal is hard. Why is there another one that's angry? I think the better question is why does he have a wizarding staff? <laughs> really? Okay. And we ignore the lizard for vengeance. I mean, we have to kind of. He, this guy's gonna kill me if I don't. No, he can't make it through those gates. Oh, that. Thanks. What do you mean, thanks? 
Not you. <laughs> Thanks, game. Ooh, Kyle is so dark. But get, get a good look. Yeah. It's so intense. It's a lot of distance. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a lot of running. <laughs> Be wary of right. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that roll saved your anus. Cause I can last the enemy, I think I can parry. And I can't. Well, I mean, you could, you're just not getting the timing right. That's not, that, no, there's no way. Like, I, I, that is the stupidest mechanic I've ever heard of. It's like, oh, they hit your shield, but you didn't parry them. You're doing it way too early. It, it doesn't make any sense. It does, kind of. It really doesn't. The fact that I, if I miss the parry, I should get hit. Plain and simple. Now, if it bounces off a shield, if, if they it, hit a shield and If it bounces off the shield, it should... Period. Oh, I'm not gonna argue this with you. It's just how the game no, works. No, that's that's that. I know that's how the game works, but this is how combat works. If somebody hits your shield have when you're you swinging, have been in an actual sword fight, Kyle. You don't have to have be have in a sword fight to know how it works. I mean, I feel like yeah, you'd kind of do. <laughs> no, because you can study it and learn about it. Until you actually feel like a sword and shield in your hand and then like actually hit someone, you don't know how it feels. Like getting oh. chomped to death by a box. I should have just left it alone. But I was too greedy. Yep. Greed souls. And I was going back to sleep after a nice meal. I had a really like awesome bro experience with one of my coworkers this weekend. Yeah? Yeah. Like, he had completely forgotten, like, a drink for his delivery, and he was heading back to the store. Well, Sean, my manager, sets up the drink in a bag ready to go. I'm like, Sean, do you think I could possibly, like, catch him halfway on down here and then, like, hand it off to him? And jokingly, he was like, I mean, it'd be cool if you did. So I look at him. Titanite skill, sweet. I look at him, and... <laughs> I take the bag and I just walk out the door with my delivery and his soda. Sure enough, I leave. I pull out of the Pizza Hut parking lot and I'm hitting the main road. As soon as I do, as soon as I hit the main road, I see him like coming my way. I open up my window and I hold out the drink. I'm like, D! And then <laughs> I pull a Yui. He pulls a Yui. We meet back up in the median. I turn my hazards just to be safe. I hold the drink out and he's like, this is so fucking illegal. <laughs> and I pass him the drink off while we're both driving. It was awesome. <laughs> Probably one of the silliest things I've ever done as a delivery driver, but I'll always remember it. And it's those moments that make everything you do memorable, Kyle. Even in Vigi games. Like, Getting the clutch victory off of the last healing item in your inventory, for instance. After all of your Estus flasks are depleted. That's what made that final boss for me so good. Yeah? Yeah, yeah like, I... It was so clutch? Dude, it was so clutch! Like, I was out of Estus. Uh, and then he started doing his special I Take Forever attack. And then, so as he was doing that, I rolled away from him and I used a divine blessing, healed myself all the way, and then I beat him. But it was just like, ugh, oh, in the moment. Where am I supposed to go again this way? Yeah. In the moment, it was just so stressful, but so high octane. Like, ugh, oh, I was like erect for 20 minutes. Nice. Mm -hmm. It's a long time to be erect, man. Isn't it? Without probably... even like touching yourself? I think so. Oh yeah, that guy's a crossbow. <laughs> oh! I, I forget what that said. Did that say this is the profane capital? What? Because that's where you're going. This is the direction to the profane capital. What says what? Says what? 
there was a thing that just popped up. It was like, you're in this location. You know how whenever you reach a new location? Yeah. You want to know a fun little trick? What? I'll teach you a trick. Just walk right, stand right in front of it. Uh-huh. Go to your inventory. Go down. Stop. Up. Right. Right again. Again. Use... You put him to sleep. What well, can, can I do anything with him? Pick up the item. If you put mimics to sleep, you can grab the item that they have inside them. That's cool. <laughs> right? <laughs> the more you know. Again, another thing that a lore video taught me. <laughs> Dude, you ruffled, you just ruffled him super hard. What's funny is that these guys, now that I think about it, they're the exact same thing. No, their garb looks almost identical to the undead cell, to the undead villagers and the undead cellmen. Except for the mask, you know what I mean? Uh, no. Like, if you were to go back to the Undead Settlement and put these guys side by side with those villagers, but take off the mask... Oh, yeah, maybe, yeah. It's exactly close, the same. Yeah. It's exactly the same. So I wonder if there's a lore thing about that. That'd be cool. This guy's different. I'm but... just not going to see what he does. <laughs> That's how I feel a lot of time when playing this game. Like, you're cool looking. Don't want to see what you do, though. <laughs> <laughs> Not going that way yet. There's a ladder over here. Which means I can come back if I need to. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you go down there? It's just Dunsky. <laughs> the Adventures of Abby, the Abyss Watcher. <laughs> Dungus of the new Abyss Watchers. Yo ho, the mistletoe hung where you can see. Oh, hello, big dude. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna walk this way. Mm, the bones, the bones is everywhere. Yeah, I don't like it. Three, five, four, I can't get four. up there. What was your favorite childhood fairy tale? Oh, Jesus. Right? Like, ones that were like Disney fairy tales? Not or... necessarily. Like, I bring this up because there was a video on cassette we had. It was an animated video where it had a bunch of just, uh, you know, grim fairy tales on it. Mm hmm. Um, not which, including Jack and the Beanstalk, uh, Little Red Riding Hood. I really like Jack and the Beanstalk a lot. Me too. Um,. I think that was reinforced by Disney's, like, Mickey and the Magic Beanstalk also. Just that love of that story in particular. Yeah. It's just... Mm. I guess I dropped down here. Yeah. Because now you is elevated. Did, 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 did. But yeah, I, I would say Mickey and... Or just the Jack and the Beanstalk is my favorite out of childhood ones. I think it was just that sense of adventure... And the unknown. Well, that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. The sense of adventure and the unknown is what drew it to me, drew me to it the most. The story that terrified me the most was actually Little Red Riding Hood. Really? But it's that's not surprising, though. Honestly, it's kind of a terrifying tale. Mm -hmm. Like, um, especially the video that I had, the wolf was terrifying. Like in the way they animated him. Oh yeah. I wish I could. I want to try and find the video for that. Um, oh God, you know what? I'm gonna try and look it up because I I really want you to see how creepy it is. Yeah. Just how weird, like, because it's almost like stop motion. You want me to share in your fear? Yeah, of course. F Kyle, if I'm afraid, you absolutely need to be afraid. Well, it scared me as a kid. It doesn't necess wouldn't necessarily scare me now, but it's just eerie. I'd say it would be the best word. Oh, 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 oh. Nice dojing, McDojerson. 
good enough. You have your shield equipped. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> You got him, though. Nice job, Kyle. Word in the up direction. Oh, barely. Dung pie? That's cool. And I'm out of Estes, by the way. <laughs> it's not good. Need a bonfire. Is there not a bonfire anywhere near? Uh, not for a good bit. I really need a bonfire. There's a shortcut I can lead you to, if you'd like me. I really kind of would like... Okay. Uh, There's a bunch think. of those things. I do not want to find a bunch of Go those. back the way you came in with the rats, that area. And then you go wrong. Go basically backtrack. Turn left. Go through this way. All right. Ember up so you have a little bit of extra health because you're going to need to drop down. Okay, try and find a relatively safe spot to land on. Unless, is there a way to get down there safer? It looks like there might be, but I always just drop down. I might have had more health than you at this point, though. Oh, nice. Okay. Avoid the rats, but you're gonna go forward. Straight. Run. <laughs> Towards the hole. Not, no, 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 behind you, the doorway. You, you greedy bastard. <laughs> Stand on it. Run, they got stuck on each other. <laughs> That's so lucky. Yeah, it is. Whew. I really want to find the particular animation. Man. Out here? Yeah. This is bonfire. Praise the shortcut. And now you're back at this bonfire. Okay, that's very helpful. <laughs> you take a moment to breathe. No, oh, I want 90s first. 90s. <sighs> Again with the equipping of the shield. Oh, is this it? This might be it. Oh my god, this is it! Oh, I found it. Yay, Chris, good job. I'm gonna... Turn, uh, I'm turning it down, though. God dang it. <laughs> I found it. I found it, Kyle. I'm happy. My mission has been accomplished. Yep, this is exactly it. This is exactly the animation. Golden Fairy Tales. You guys can look it up, too. It's oh, yeah, I know Golden Fairy Tales. Yeah, this animation. I don't know why it creeped me out so much as a kid, but this... Pretty kind of creepy. Isn't it? It's like, swing it swooty, I'm gonna eat that booty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Kyle, put that in. Oh, a silly old woman sick in bed, waiting for company with her door open, I bet. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, that creeped me out a lot as a kid. It was so good, though. Oh. <laughs> Worth it. I've yet to kill this giant, actually. Interestingly. I don't know that I want to take the task. You don't want me to want to try it? Holy Kyle, where's your sense of Jack in the Beanstalk adventure? <laughs> you disappoint me. I mean, this area kind of sucks. No, no, don't worry about it. Uh, this area kind of sucks because the rats just keep respawning. Oh, really? Yep. Or, or. Well, then I will just leave. <laughs> Should I be going this way? You can. You can go anywhere you want, Kyle. Did I already get this thing? Is this the same chest? <laughs> you can find out. Let's see if you can remember, kids. Oh my god, Kyle, I'm so proud of you. Ooh, Dragon Slayer Lightning Arrows. Neat. Are any of these walls illusionary? I can't remember. Ugh. 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 Yeah, apparently not. 
Oh, but yeah, dude, I watched those videos like a hell of a lot when I was a kid. I don't know where my mom. I know my mother like packed them away somewhere when I, have I was. I have no idea like, where I'm supposed to be going right now. I guess back up, because I mean. Yeah, you kind of stuck down here. This is an area where you find one of the uh, side mission characters, though. This area right here. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. You'll find him down here later on. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. Enter this room, turn left. Alright. Turn left. Immediately go left. This way. Just keep running. Just keep running. Take a second to admire the gorgeous view. Those are dead bodies. That's the gorgeous. <laughs> yes, this is something. Dragon torso stone. Mm -hmm. How interesting. <laughs> and then another another tour. Go up, up. Your arms look like straight up beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> they really do. All right. Now this here. Yep. Go up to that. I mean, it's not going to scream at you. <laughs> Try tongue. <laughs> All right. Shortcut. There you go. Yay, shortcuts. So now you can just bypass all those rats, all those monsters. There you go. <laughs> but now it's not to fight these things. Right? So you go that way, right? Not necessarily. I mean, you could homeward bone it. Just get back to the bonfire so you could rest. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> You're going back to the Oh, crap. Bone. I didn't mean to. That's fine. You got you got bone shard to burn anyway. Yeah, I do. And it is time for next time on Smash Go. Oh, thank God. Kyle has been struggling for like... You guys didn't see it, but... Kyle's been struggling for like 15 minutes to get to this point. It's been longer than 15 minutes. <laughs> it's probably been 30 minutes. I've never seen you so like defeated before by a video game. Because <laughs> I've never been this defeated before. Like, honestly, like, there are some parts of this game that, like, I really want to play this game and beat this game because it's Dark Souls 3 and it's, it's really, a lot of this game is really fun, but a lot of this game is just asinine, dumb, stupid, and just overly difficult things that are just absolutely stupid difficult i respectfully disagree but this is your first souls game so i can imagine it's it some of it's just really just dumb <laughs> it's really just dumb it really just wants to eat you it wants to eat your booty like groceries it's doing it <laughs> so next time on smash Co, will we go down will we change our minds and go up oh we'll see once again i'm homic i'm kyle We'll see you guys next time in Dark Souls 3. Bye. Bye, well.